He's competed for numerous UFC titles, but now he's a color commentator and a television host, calling me the international man of mystery, Kenny Florian. <laughs> we are in Herald Square here in New York. What does this mean for the UFC's efforts to try and sanction and regulate the sport in the state? Man, it's great. You know, uh, we were here uh, right at 11 a.m., and there were people here way in advance of this waiting for us to be here. And it shows, you know, how popular sport is here, obviously, in the city of New York. And uh, it's great to see. I mean, the, the streets are lined up with UFC fans. And in my opinion, it's something that's long overdue. I, I think uh, this, the people of New York, uh, the state, and, of course, the city here deserve a UFC event. And you see how popular it is, how many people are out here today and, and supported this. And it's great. And uh, we're very close. It's right in Newark. You know, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing that uh, here soon. Speaking of Newark, the main event is John Bones Jones defending his light heavyweight championship uh, versus Chael Sonnen. How do you break down that fight? You know, I think John Jones is going to have uh, really a, an advantage over anyone in that division, just purely based on the fact that he has just so many weapons and such uh, a physical advantage over uh, all those fighters at 205 pounds. You talk about his length, his athleticism, his speed. Uh, his timing, his ability to learn so quickly is, is uh, unreal. And, um, you know, and he's got that wrestling background and he's submitting Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts. He's outstriking other strikers. And we saw that against Shogun, who's a true veteran, you know, as tough as they come. We don't see guys stopping Shogun very often. And John Jones did that. That's how good he is. And in my opinion, he's the best pound for pound fighter out there. Uh, and, but Chael Sonnen, you know, the good thing about Chael is, first of all, you know, he has an interesting style contrast to John Jones and the fact that he's an excellent wrestler. He's an excellent MMA wrestler. He's a guy that if he puts you on your back, it's going to be very difficult to get back to your feet. And he has excellent ground and pound, and his pressure is second to none. Uh, Chael will go out there. He's not going to be intimidated by the name. He's going to go out there, pressure you, and back you up. And that's the way, if there's a way to beat John Jones, it, you got to back him up. you got to pressure a guy with that kind of offensive arsenal and that kind of length. You have to back him up because John isn't that great of a counter striker. Now, he may be now, but he's not that great of a counter striker yet. Um, so I think it's very important that Chael back him up, use his wrestling, and do what he does best. And he could, you know, conceivably out wrestle uh, John in this fight. So it's going to be an interesting fight, and it's always exciting anytime Chael and John Jones fight. So I expect uh, that to be a great one. For the longest time on UFC Central, we've all we've long maintained. Just real quick thoughts. I actually got to go here. Real quick thoughts on on Boston. Um, you know, it definitely it saddens me. I was very sad with what happened. That's my hometown, and to see what happened there was, uh, you know, very tragic. And uh, you know, I know that the Boston, the city of Boston, is a very tough and resilient city, and uh, I think we're going to get over this. And it's unbelievable what the Boston police and the law enforcement did in, in, in the Boston area to catch, you know, who they believe are the suspects. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to the families and anyone who suffered and uh, had to experience that. And um, and, and that's it. Uh, you know, it shows that we're we still all vulnerable and we still have to, you know, be very careful out there. So I know you got to run. Thanks for your time. All right. Thank you, guys.